Alright, so in this video we're going to continue looking at TK Enter, but this time we're going to uh, combine this with objects. And uh, the way we're going to be doing that is just having a quick look here. I've got an option menu, and these are the names of some objects. We have a student object, and each object has two uh, variables. It has a name and it has an age. And so if we select one, like for example John, when we hit select, it's going to go and get the age of that particular object. So again, if I choose a different student, you can see the select it is returning the age of that particular student. And lastly, there you go. You can see how it changes. So we have a label here displaying the age. We have a select button that is calling the function. And we have an option menu that has been populated with the names of our student objects. Okay. So to get started, we're just going to begin, as we have been with the uh, tkinter, tkinter um, main window. So I've just created a uh, basically a main window, which looks like this. Here we are, and there's the code for that. And um, what we're going to do to start with is just create the actual uh, class for us. So right at the top here, I'm just going to define a class called student. And obviously we'll have our um, init function in there, and we'll have, I guess, three. Oh, sorry, two. Uh, two bits of information. We'll have the name and the age. So when we create an instance of the student, uh, we'll just set its name to being whatever the name was, and the age. And what we're going to do is we're going to add it to a list, which we'll create in a moment, um, of students, like so. And um, what's the next thing we want to do? Oh yes, we are going to create some students. So down the bottom here, let's create our student list. So that's empty at the moment. And then we'll go through and create three students. So remember to do that, you have the name of the class with a capital there. And then in brackets, you put the parameters. So the first one was name. So here's going to be John, like so. The second student is going to be James, who was 17. And third student is Lucy, who is 16. Okay, so that should now, at the start of the program, create this list, uh, create three objects. And when we create those three objects, you can see they're going to be allocated the name and age that we've put into the bracket, and they are all going to be added to our student list. Now, the problem we have, though, is with these option menus, we can't display an object. So what we're going to need to do is set it up so it just displays their names. So we're just going to create a second list here, um, and I'm just going to call it student names, like so. And then in our init function at the top here, we are going to add our student names, names.append. We're just going to put in their name, so that'll just be a list of the names, and that there will be our, our list to display in our option menu. So we've set up our class, we've set up our lists and our students. So now what we need to do is have a quick look at our student menu. Oops. So I'm just going to call it student menu. And that is an instance of the option menu class in tkinter. And it's going to be located in the main window. Excuse me. And we need to have the first selected or the selected student. So I'm just going to call it selected student. That's the variable uh, that will contain the information or the name of the student that's been selected. And then the list that's going to populate this drop down, which is student names. Now, obviously, we need to pack that in. And that will appear on our GUI. Now, of course, this selected student um, variable needs to be set up above. So selected student. Now, that's going to be a string var. And I think when we first run the program, we should probably set that to being um, the first student in our list. So select the student dot set. And if we go to our student names list, let's just pick item zero, which is the first in our list. So when this program runs up, the very first student name that we should see should be John, because he's the first one we are creating. Um, and then from there, we can go ahead and select them. So let's just have a look right now if this is going to work. 
and there's our option menu with the names of our three objects. All right, so our next step now is to create the button and the function for um, grabbing the name. So let's have a look here. So we've got our select button. So I'm just going to call it select button. And remember that is an instance of the button class, which is located in our main window. And I'm just going to put some text on the front. When it is clicked, we're going to have it call a function, which I'm just going to call get age. And to make it appear, we will just pack that into our interface. There we go. So we need to have this function here called get age. We need to define that. So just at the top of our program there, just below the class, I'm going to define get age. And what we want to do in here is we want to go through our um, list of students and check and see if the name that has been selected matches them. So what we're going to do is say, well, okay, well, for say for S in student list. So that's going to go through our list of objects. Um, if the name of that, oh, I've already marked it. If the name of that particular object is equal to, um, and then this is where we have to come back down here for a second, it's going to be the selected student. So whatever has been selected. So we need to go and get that value. So that is selected student dot get. So if it actually matches that, then what we need to do is we're going to have a variable that we want to display in our label. So um, I'm going to call that variable age and we're going to set it to being whatever the current object's age is. Oops, age. So remember that's each, as we go through we're getting this little almost like a temporary variable we're looking at which is the object and we're going to check its name if it's equal to the name of the student we've selected in the option menu, then we're going to set this new variable called age to being equal to the age of that object we're looking at. Okay, so that's our function. So what we need to do now is just head down and set up this age variable, and we're going to display that in our label. So we'll come right down underneath the button. And the first thing we want is the age variable. Now that is an integer, so I'm just going to display it as an int bar. And then our label, what should we call that one? Age label. That is an instance of the label class. It's located in the main window. And it's going to have a text variable. And remember, the advantage of the text variable is we can update the content that is displayed. So there you go, text variable equals age. So what that should do initially is can display it be blank. And then every time we select someone, that variable will be reset by our get age function, where it sets it here. So we'll just pack that age label in. And now we should, all going well, have a program that delivers. We'll see. So we've got our three items. You can see there's our option menu, there's our select button, and there's our label. So if I select John, it's going and getting his age. If I select James, it should now go through my list of objects and find the one that matches James, and it returns his age. Great, and Lucy, bit bang, perfect. So there we have it. We have a working interface where we have TKinters GUI interacting with the objects belonging to a particular class.